Okay guys, today what I got for you is a King Air. We're gonna do an exterior maintenance wash. So everything, clean everything. All the bugs, all the boots, clean that up. Uh, may polish the spinners, may prep and seal the boots. We'll see how they look. Haven't taken a full look at them. Uh, we'll all right, so in the manual uh, for washing it, it says cover the pedos and statics. Well, I'm doing a dry wash, so I'm not gonna cover the pedos, but I'll, co I'll cover the statics. So keep these clear. Um, it says then after you return the aircraft to service that make sure that the pedos and statics are clear. So just throw some tape. I like to use like sometimes I'll just do a big piece like that so that we don't forget it. Um, and that way you're just not gonna forget it. We don't wanna forget it. <laughs> so um, that's basically all the manual says to use uh, car wash waxes and or airplane waxes and uh, car wash soaps or mild, mild cleaners. Um, so that kind of leaves it wide open, don't it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mixed some degreaser for uh, at 10 to one. We're gonna go ahead and start on the landing gear first and all the sooty areas. I'm just gonna get all the soot off. All the exhaust soot, gear door flaps, gear doors, or uh, landing gears, and um, bugs. And then I'm gonna go through with a uh, waterless wash, spray it on, wipe it off, and we're good to go. So this thing is hammered. It was landing on dirt runways. Um, here it is, here's the video. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with landing gear. The manual says uh, when you're cleaning landing gear, all the, the, the hinges or the joints or whatever, where there's grease and all that stuff, just be careful not to be blasting stuff in there. Um, typically after you're cleaning, cleaning landing gear, you're supposed to grease it again. Um, so yeah, we'll get going. I'll show you guys how it's done. Uh, we're just gonna clean it with the tornado. I, I mix up some degreaser uh, 10 to 1. That's the low. It's the lowest it's set on the uh, degreaser bottle. Uh, I was trying to keep it on the lower end because um, I don't know if you guys have ever gotten like degreaser on your hand. It takes forever to like wipe off. Or like if you use like Dawn soap in the sink and you like you you rinse it off and then you you go like this with your hands and there's like still soap. Well, it's like the same thing with degreaser. So. You really want to flush it, so I always flush it after with just some water, so, and then dry it all up. All right, so here we go. Okay, so we're on the front landing gear. So what they're referring to as far as like the grease points or whatever. So in here, when uh, when they grease right here, all the grease kind of comes out here. So it's always gonna push dirt out. So we don't wanna push anything back in into this area. So just be mindful. And um, when you're using pressure with the tornado or whatever, um, <clears throat> just not blasting in areas like that. So, all right, here we go. Okay, so here's how I clean the uh, front, well, any wheel with a, a wheel bearing. So with a tornado or whatever, 
or or spray or pressure washer like whatever so I always just spray the degreaser on the outside never at the middle of the wheel bearing so here you are bugs yes all the bugs the bugs you'll find the bugs like all the way back here sometimes and uh, you'll catch them above the windscreen actually you see the windscreen right there you'll catch them above there too so we'll get those actually later when I'm got the ladder and stuff we're just getting eye level below maybe like a little bit overhead Okay guys, so I am gonna go over with you guys real quick. So we finished landing gear. We're coming up top, so you can see here, we've got a few bugs. It's really dirty. It's landing on a dirt runway. So we're gonna have exhaust soot coming in from here and spinning up this way. That is because the way the prop spins. So it kicks the air over the top of the cowling for the most part. Um, we get a little black. Uh, I think that's from like uh, brushes, like an electric motor, I think. Can't remember. Um, and then we've got, uh, you can see it's pretty heavily, pretty heavy sit on this side. And then this one in particular, the other side, I had polished it out, um, but I haven't on this side. So you'll see when we clean it, like there's still soot in the paint and I, I got to buff it out this week. So, um, yeah, you can see, so got some oil. Um, so yeah. And then also I forgot, and you can see we've got soot underneath here too. So, um, there's not so much on the other side of the engine. And again, that's because the propeller spins that way. So it's kicking the exhaust down right here. Now these are, these are like an upgraded exhaust. Um, the angle of it is kicked up some, but for the most part, it still just beats the heck out of the wings. So that's why in particular, these things are very, you want to maintain them because if you don't, I mean, look at the rivets. Uh, how are you gonna buff around these when it's oxidized? Like, you know what I mean? And look how many there are. And so you can only polish those things so many times before we're burning through the paint on those rivets and then it's toast. So we don't wanna do that, so. Um, I'll do another video on that, but for today, we're just cleaning. Okay guys, so got all the grease, got all the oil off. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is come through uh, with just a dry wash product. Uh, this one was Pearl Nano, they sent it to me. Um, Perfection Speed Coat Ceramic Waterless Car Wash, paint sealant and detailer. So uh, it's I've got this diluted, diluted it. Um, and uh, for a rinseless, uh, not rinseless, uh, water, they call it waterless. So waterless is, I spray it on, I wipe it off. Um, so I'll do that. And then um, I've got Adam's Polishes. They sent me this towel. Where are these guys? They got their logo on this thing, it's pretty sweet. There it is. So it's like friggin' beach towel almost. And it's got these weird looking fibers. 
they pick up water well. And then I got from Auto Fiber the Dreadnought. It's basically the same towel, but it's double. It's the same, the same, uh, same pile on each side. So no logo from Auto Fiber. So uh, yeah, just using these to dry as much as I can until they they get a little streaky. Then I switch. Uh, the biggest reason they get streaky streaky is from the degreaser, but. Uh, um, There we go. Ooh, there's the mallard. Check that out. Go fly in that. That thing's fun. Anyways, um, so I won't bore you with this. I'm gonna do the both the wings, uh, top and bottom, and belly. So I'm not gonna film those. You guys, are, I just went through as I was degreasing, and then I'll pick up with you guys again when I um, clean the boots. Um, usually I clean it while I'm doing the wings, but I'll stop. I'll I'll leave like one boot left and show you guys what I'm doing. And then I'll hop back on as well when we do the fuselage. So um, my my order that I would go through on it is start at the tail with a ladder, get the fuselage, work the, go the, go the, the whole length of the wing, come back to the other side of the wing, get the engine, um, and then get, get the fuselage again. But um, I'm just gonna knock out the two wings and then I'll come back and show you guys how I uh, do the fuselage. All right. Okay, so we wiped down the wings. Now we're gonna start on the fuselage. I got a ladder and then I got these with this pole. I can just reach way more. They get dirty quick, um, but you just go through them fast faster than you would with a towel and uh you get it clean the other stuff that i can reach i'll use that i'll just do that by hand um but mostly just the top and be aware of what a tenant and tenants are up there and all that and you'll be good take a watch